All right, greetings everyone. Thanks for stopping by the channel today. It's been a little while since I had a video out there. I've been waiting for this weather, this crazy southeastern Wisconsin weather uh, to finally straighten itself up. Uh, now we're dealing with a uh, quarter inch of ice. Uh, we're having an ice storm right now. So any as far as doing any kind of bashing or any kind of bash videos, those are going to be kind of put on hold for the time being. Sorry about that, guys, but we got some weather issues going on now. We're in the research kitchen today, guys. We're going to be doing a battery modification. Uh, on the connector on this uh, S911. This is the GP Toys uh, Fox truck. So stay tuned for that, guys. I'll be right back. All right, standard battery with this one, guys, is going to be a 9.6 volt lithium ion uh, triple cell battery. This is actually uh, 800 milliamp per hour, uh, and I did mention 9.6 volt. This has this goofy proprietary connector on it. Uh, these batteries can get a little pricey, and sometimes they're a little bit hard to find as well. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to switch uh, out the connector on this truck uh, to accept a Dean's uh, type battery. So something uh, along these lines. Some people call these T connectors. Um, I know I've known them uh, for quite some time as Dean's type or T type I guess you could call them if you really need to but we're looking at doing guys is using either a uh, 7.4 volt or even a 11.1 uh, volt 3s battery uh, works fine in this truck uh, I believe that this motor will handle uh, the extra horsepower uh, generated by a 3s battery so the first thing we're gonna need to do guys is go ahead and pop this thing open here and take this cover off and we'll notice on the inside side here pretty much everything is modular so what we're going to need to do is i'm going to solder wire directly to the the esc inside here i'm not going to cut this and solder to this uh, that's just going to be too much wire hanging off in here and i kind of want to save this for whatever reason maybe i'll need it in the future for who knows what uh, but what we're going to need to do is remove this top plate right here all right, first thing we'll do is we're gonna get a, I have an angled uh, pick right here. You can get these pretty much anywhere. Harbor Freight Specials right here, like a buck 99 for a set of, I think there's four in the set, uh, but these tend to work pretty good. So I'll go ahead and get this uh, connector off of the board here. And there we go there. Next thing we're gonna do is remove these two screws. You have one on the top here, and then one right there on the bottom. We'll go ahead and get those out of the way. Okay, then we can take this plate off of the top here. Next thing we're gonna need to do, guys, is remove the board out from its uh, little slot here. You can see, maybe you can't see, but there are slots top and bottom on this one here. I'll try to zoom in just a little bit if we can. And I'll kind of point that out if I can, but there's little slots uh, it just behind these screw holes here uh, for the top plate. And we can pull this out just by tugging gently on the wire right here. Let me zoom back out. Uh, we'll just tug on the wire gently here and go ahead and remove that board, get it out of the way. Uh, what we're going to need to do today, guys, is desolder uh, right here. So we have these two connections right here and right here. And you can see that this has a pretty heavy-duty coating on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and scrape some of this coating off of here and then go ahead and desolder this and get the other wire prepped and ready to go. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've scraped off the coating uh, on the positive and negative leads for the uh, existing power cable here, a power wire. Uh, what I'm going to do now is take a hot soldering iron and heat these up and just get those out of the way uh, real fast here. So let's go ahead and get our soldering iron cleaned off and we can go ahead and go ahead and tug these off, get to heat them up and kind of pull them off out of the way. All right, guys, I've gone ahead and I've uh, scraped the coating off of the two uh, places that we're going to need to solder. And those are just a little bit off camera right now, but we'll see those in just a second. Uh, now, And I went ahead and I prepped the wires that I'm going to be using. Um, I save a lot of uh, wires from uh, uh, other cars or, or uh, quadcopters, uh, other vehicles. I save, I, I use and reuse a lot of stuff uh, to kind of keep my cost to a minimum uh, and keep the frugality of this operation going. Uh, so what I've done here, guys, is uh, gone ahead and 
tinned both ends of this by using uh, the normal stuff that I use, the uh, lead-free solder paste and lead-free solder, uh, and gone ahead and got a nice uh, tin job on both of these wires. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is take our <coughs> recycled, I might add, uh, Dean's uh, mail connector here and go ahead and get these soldered up. We're going to do the uh, we're going to do the positive or the negative end first, which is going to be the flat side here. So I'm going to go ahead and dip this in the in the solder flux here uh, just a little bit and spread just a little bit on uh, the tang that I'm going to be soldering to and uh, make sure we got a good uh, you can put a good amount on there you want that solder to flow hot and you want to make sure that you got a good what they call a hot solder joint and I mentioned it in a couple of other videos that I've showed soldering on a uh, hot solder joint is a nice shiny surface uh, to the solder uh, you don't want to have any dull kind of gray looking chalky surface uh, that could result in not having uh, enough uh, 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 solder flow uh, is, is key in this so let's go ahead and heat this up real quick here and we'll go ahead and touch this wire on I've already gone ahead and cut uh, small pieces of uh, heat shrink to cover those uh, solder joints up so we're not uh, uh, running the risk of uh, touching these two together and then causing uh, damage. So now we're going to go ahead and solder on the uh, positive or the red wire to it. Um, we're going to use the shorter end to solder onto uh, that right there. So we'll go ahead and dip this in our flux one more time. Wipe just a little bit on the on the tang here and we can go ahead and start heating this up and get it soldered together you don't need to use a lot of solder when you're doing this guys I think sorry for hitting the camera there you uh, you don't need to use a whole lot of solder while you're doing this I think if you if you have enough already on your the surface that you're soldering to and then you have this tinned just a tiny little half BB size will be all you really need uh, to get the job done so go ahead and heat that up Touch this on, kind of made them together. Hold it steady in place, and that should be a winner. We'll take another quick look at this once and see what we have. And it looks a little on the sloppy side, but as long as it's on there and we see some shine, I think we're going to be good to go. Uh, next thing we're going to do, guys, is go ahead and put the heat shrink on here. And I've already got that pre-cut. Uh, you may want to wait just a, yeah, about a minute or so uh, for this to cool. The heat transfer from the uh, hot solder pen uh, into the metal here is uh, quite dramatic, and you want to make sure that you're not... There we go. So I think that'll be fine. <clears throat> And I'm going to go ahead and do one at a time, uh, like I usually do. We'll bend this into place just a little bit and roll that up to all, all the way up. You want to roll it as far up to the uh, plastic part of the connector as you can. And then just to save time and space, I'm going to use uh, a kind of a wand lighter here for lighting the grill. Um, I keep one of these in my toolkit right here. Uh, it's, a, it's an invaluable tool to have uh, for this purpose. If you can't, if you don't, if you're pressed for space and you need to do uh, uh, this type of operation, I think that's, that's the best way to do it. I have a little bit showing there as far as the uh, gold on that end there, but I think we're going to be fine with this. Uh, this really isn't moving too much, so I think we're going to be okay. And we'll roll this up on. And we'll do the same on this one here. You want to make sure that you're not holding it on there too long so you're not uh, melting um, any plastic or melting any of the silicone coating on here. You just want to give it a quick little, quick little, uh, roll it around real fast and kind of get some heat on there and get that shrunken up a little bit. And I think that's going to be just fine. Now I've gone ahead and I've uh, cut another piece here. I think I'm going to make this just a little bit uh, shorter. And we're going to use this to kind of hold the whole wire together here. So I'll kind of cut that in half, I think will be good. And we'll roll this up on here. Kind of reinforce uh, this area right here. Okay, and we'll give it a little bit of heat again. And I think that's going to be it. 
And that's what we're looking at. So it's not real pretty, but it's going to serve a purpose. The solder joints are on there, and uh, we have a good hot solder joint. Uh, to my knowledge right now, it looks good. Uh, we'll do the final testing in just a second. But the next thing we're going to need to do is uh, get at our circuit board here, our actual ESC and uh, get this soldered, our wire connector here, uh, soldered onto our ESC. Pretty easy to do. We can do it one of two ways. You can do it just dangling like it is right now. I prefer to use, if I have space to do so, I prefer to use uh, the uh, three-in-one helping hand here kind of to hold this up and kind of prop it uh, in, a, in such a way that it's easier for me to get at. You want to make sure you're using some caution while you're doing this. We'll go ahead and get this soldered up. We're going to start with the negative uh, wire first here, and I'll get my solder pen cleaned off right here. And we're going to start with our, with our negative right here. And we'll touch this guy on here. Oops, there we go. We have to use care when you're doing this, guys, that you're not bridging any of these little FETs. These are actual uh, FETs for the ESC. Um, and you don't want to, you want to make sure you're not bridging uh, the solder joint from the actual uh, place it needs to be to one of those FETs. Otherwise, you could uh, cause yourself some issues um, going forward. So we'll do the same thing with the other one. I'm going to pick up some solder on the pen here. We'll go ahead and clean this off just real quick. And we'll pick up some solder on here. Okay, sorry about the smoke in front of the camera there, guys. It's, it is what it is. So we'll go ahead and heat this up a little bit here. And solder this into place like so. Sorry about the, if I'm blowing into the microphone, I apologize. But that's what we need to see. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull that out of there so we can kind of inspect it a little bit closer up to see what we have. Uh, you want to make sure, double, triple check that you're not, uh, again, bridging uh, any connections together that are not supposed to be uh, bridged together. So I'm going to test it, actually, before we do anything else. I'm going to connect a battery on here and then flip the power switch and see what happens. Um, if we get smoke, we know, <laughs> if we get smoke, we know that uh, uh, something was bridged, but I'm pretty Pretty confident that this is going to be just fine all right guys so I've got the battery connected now let's go ahead and flip this power switch and we're gonna watch for an LED uh, to light up should flash red and there we go so it looks like the operation was a success um, I'm pleased with the outcome of this uh, now it's just gonna be a matter of rerouting this wire uh, putting the ESC back in place connecting the servo and then um, I will show you guys how I plan on mounting the battery uh, with this setup so real quickly I'll show you what I did here guys I went ahead and I cut some of the plastic away um, on this cover right here and I kind of zoom that in it's not a real neat job guys I plan on cleaning this up and I will do that um, off camera. I may actually, oops, that's kind of a bad, there we go. Um, I may actually take more material off of here and then kind of move this over a little bit uh, and maybe possibly incorporate some hot glue. I don't know how elaborate I'm going to get with this, uh, but one thing I do know is I don't like the fact of having to take uh, this cover off each and every time I want to turn uh, the power on or off on the uh, car itself. So what I'll end up doing, no doubt, is uh, seeing where I need to and going ahead and taking a uh, X-Acto knife or a, a small side cutter and cutting a notch in here so I can uh, easily access that power switch. But it, essentially what's going to happen here, guys, is you're going to put, you're going to connect your battery and you're going to lay your battery down. And again, this is kind of a quick job here. I'm probably, I'm going to be cleaning this up and moving this around a little bit more. But essentially what you're going to be doing at this point is uh, running a strap around uh, the battery right there, holding it in place, and essentially you have uh, a different power uh, for your vehicle. So now you have LiPo power on this vehicle as opposed to before having uh, lithium ion. Now again, this is only a 7.4 volt uh, cell on here, um, and um, I may end up having to run a, a low voltage alarm um, with this vehicle. I'm not quite sure at this point, uh, but I do plan on running an 11.13S battery on here. 
here. Uh, but that's pretty much it in a nutshell, guys. That's that's the that's the essential mod that we're doing today. Um, I hope you guys learned something from this. Um, and take your time doing this stuff. Don't try to rush it. Make sure all your solder joints are nice and hot. Make sure that everything is insulated that needs to be insulated. And use caution uh, when using anything other than the stock battery. Uh, and uh, if anything happens to, uh, to your vehicle as a result of doing this mod uh, from watching my video, guys, uh, it's pretty much on you. I don't take any responsibility. This is more for entertainment purposes and a little bit of instruction. Um, I don't recommend doing this if you don't know what you're doing with a solder gun and you're not uh, comfortable doing that. If you need help soldering, there's plenty of videos on YouTube that will give you instruction on how to properly solder. That's pretty much it. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. We'll see you all in the next one. And God bless the Republic. Here's the thumb. <laughs>